Hello, third grade. It's Mr. Pfeiffer here. Uh, last week in form drawing, we did some lines. We did curved lines and angled lines. And I asked you to just practice those this week. So we can go back to doing some of that. I hope you have your chalk, your chalkboard, and a chamois, of course. If you remember, we did some of these. I'm sure you guys are all experts at this now. All right. Oh, that's a little short. All right. So let's practice a few of those. Come down here, underneath, kind of warm up a little bit. All right, because what I want you guys to do now, and girls, sorry, is we're gonna kind of add a couple of the things that we've been doing. So we're gonna start out by drawing a straight line, and then we're gonna draw another one below it. Fairly simple. We're going to come over to the right, another straight line, coming away, to the left, straight line, try and keep them all roughly the same length, of course. Then, we're going to start up here, on the upper right, and come down towards the center. We're going to go underneath that, in the lower right, in the center out, lower left, center out. And come over to the upper left, start in the top, and come from the out, come out in. So we're going in and out, out and in. All right. Once we get that, oh, that's a little off. And again, that's why there's my chamois. So we use our chamois. So in and out, out and in. That's still a little off. Mr. Pfeiffer is having a rough one right now. So let's fix that. And this is why we use chalk. If we make our mistakes. They're fairly easy to correct. That looks a little bit better. A little too long there. So now, what we're going to do is we can come around. We can add on the four first ones we did. Arrows. Right? And then on the other ones that are left, maybe some diamonds. Right? So that's one. Kind of looks like a snowflake. Right? So once we get that one done, yeah, let's do another one. So remember, two lines up and down. A little bit of space, maybe about a finger in between. Then come to the right, out, left, go out. And roughly the same length. And then we start in upper right. We go out and in towards the center. Lower right, start in the center, come out. Lower left, start in the center, come out. And then upper left, so we go out and then in. So the bottom ones, we start out and we go, we start in and we go out. And the upper ones, we start out and we come in. There's a couple more, if you remember these shapes. I'm gonna alternate now around. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this. So I want you guys to practice. All right, we could also, I'm gonna just erase to be easy here. Use my finger. So it's fun to get dirty sometimes, right? You can always wash your hands. You can even do circles. On some of them, right? Upside down triangles, maybe. Triangles. So there's a couple of different ways we can do it. I want you guys to practice a few different ways. And when you're ready, I want you to go into your books. And you're going to set it up, up and down. And then I want you to take your favorite one and put it in there with some color. I went with purple, red, and blue because guess what? Blue and red make purple. But only use three colors. I want you to only have eight lines all the way around and then the ends can be pretty much whatever shape you want. I went with triangles because there's three sides to each one and three is my favorite number. And that's also the number for third grade. Oh boy. 
All right, third grade, I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you. Hopefully it'll be sooner rather than later. Uh, have a good weekend, and we'll talk soon. Bye.